Well, good Sunday morning to you, Faith Pocatello Daily here, March 20th, 2022. We're now going to shift and start looking at the great love of the Lord over the next uh, little while. Um, we are being greatly cared for. So in the season of Lent, as we look upon the great sacrifice of the Lord Jesus and what he did for us, it's his care for us. It's his love for us that drove him. So Second Chronicles chapter 5, verses 11 through 14. Now they're bringing the Ark of the Temple to consecrate it. And when the priests came out of the holy place, for all the priests were, who were present had consecrated themselves without regard to their divisions, and all the Levitical singers, Asaph, Haman, and Judathan, their sons and kinsmen, arrayed in fine linen with cymbals, harps, and lyres, stood east of the altar with 120 priests who were in trumpeters. And it was the duty of the trumpeters and the singers to make themselves heard in unison in praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. And when the song was raised with trumpets and cymbals and other musical instruments in praise to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. The house, the house of the Lord was filled with the cloud, so that the priests could not stand to minister because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. We're getting ready to, to bless the people, but we see this scene here that they're giving thanks to the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Listen, believer, I want you to understand that, that the love of God cannot be moved toward you. Now, sometimes we don't feel the love of God, and sometimes it's because we have rejected the love of God, or we are not looking at things from the right perspective. You see, when we question whether or not God loves us because we're not getting what we want or we don't like our circumstance, our situation, we're, we're questioning the very character of God because God is love. And in him, there is no deceit. And he loves you. And so we need to understand that everything I have, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures. It will last forever. And so the love with which he loves us is an eternal love. So I want you to hold on to that today. May God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share.